going to be a reasonably nice day today. A bit of sunshine around, maybe some showers and heavy rain into this afternoon, but uh, a decent start. Highs today around 17. Best of uh, the weekend weather will be this morning. Coming up on Three Counties Radio Breakfast with me, David Prever, this morning. Some uh, school children from Bedfordshire launching a mission to near space today. Uh, these students from Leighton Buzzard sending a weather balloon high into the upper atmosphere to see if the truth is out there. Don't get those soldering irons actually getting hot. <laughs> Guys, big wave. No. <laughs> it's 24 minutes to seven, and now. <laughs> I love this music. People from a school in beds are launching a mission to near space today. Students from Cedars Upper School in Leighton Buzzard are going to send a weather balloon high into the upper atmosphere to see if the truth is out there. Paul Simmons is uh, the team leader of design and technology at the school helping with this mission today. And here he is right now. Hello, Paul. Good morning to you. I hope you're enjoying the music here. We've got this going for you. It's wonderful. Got me really inspired, yeah. It's got you in the mood for it today. Indeed, yeah. Why have you decided to put this project together? Um, principal aim is to get more young people thinking differently about engineering and hopefully to get involved in it because we've got a big problem in the country where we're running out of engineers. Yeah, we need so, something uh, like... I spoke to Brian Cox about this recently, a million engineers by 2020 or something. Absolutely, just to stand still. So, uh, you know, we're not certainly not getting students through school thinking about engineering, so I thought I'll uh, do my bit and try to help out. Tell me about the project. What are you actually going to be doing? Uh, we're going to be launching a payload into, uh, we, we're calling it space, it's as good as, um, up about uh, 35 to 37 kilometres above the ground, uh, attached to a large weather balloon. Um, in that payload we'll be carrying some scientific experiments to measure things like uh, temperature and air pressure, and uh, also taking some nice videos and photos as we go, so we've got something to show the students when we return. And how old are they, these uh, children who are involved in this? Uh, we're in upper school, so we're serving 13 to 18-year-olds, and that's uh, broadly the spectrum we have in uh, in the club that I'm running. Do you have uh, to get permission to do this sort of thing, do you? Who do you have to speak to? <laughs> yeah, if you, we originally wanted to launch here from uh, from Cedars Upper School, uh, but uh, we're in the Luton Airport flight path kind of zone, so we couldn't do it from here. There's a site in Cambridge where they're allowed permanent uh, permission to launch, so uh, we had to go there in the end, that's where we're going today. Funny. So you get permission from uh, who? The Civil Aviation Authority, is it? That's right, yeah, they have uh, overall control on who does what when. So, um, and do you have to say we're launching now, or you just let the thing go whenever you like? Well, from Cambridge we can go whenever we like. We get, uh, we've got a team from the University of Southampton who's been uh, fantastic in helping and coaching our students, and they're coming down today to, uh, to, to give us a hand with the launch. So how long will it take to get up to uh, its maximum altitude? Then? Uh, the idea is about two hours up, one hour down, um, depending on weather conditions and wind and so forth. And you've got a lot of bad day. I mean, it might be a little bit windy later on today. Will you postpone if it is, uh, if, the, if the conditions aren't right? Uh, we're looking really good for today. We've been very lucky indeed with the, uh, the overall cloud coverage. Uh, the smog's gone, which was a concern earlier in the week. Um, and the wind is, is looking promising that, uh, that the spacecraft will touch down on land rather than uh, in the North Sea somewhere. So it's all looking good so far. And what are you hoping to find out? Uh, is there life out there, I suppose? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all, all we want to be one hell of a story if if you come back and there's a little face smiling on the camera. That would be great, wouldn't it? That'd be fantastic. Yeah, that's, that's a different kind of inspiration. That would put you on the map, wouldn't it? <laughs> Why not? If we're not already. Uh, seriously, uh, you might be able to find out a bit about pollution. I guess we've had a lot of that over the last few weeks. That'll come up, won't it? Uh, we're not measuring for pollution, but certainly you could. Uh, you, over the last few days, you would have seen the smog as the aircraft, uh, the spacecraft, would have risen above. So whether we see any traces of that that goes into the atmosphere we'll find out well it sounds great fun will you send us some pictures later and we can stick those up on the facebook page later on today i'd love to absolutely that'd be great yeah good stuff thank you very much nice to talk to you paul and good luck to you and the other people today thank paul you, simmons is uh, thank you paul team leader of design and technology cedars upper school in leighton buzzard and he's right we need a million engineers in this country by 2020 i interviewed brian Co professor brian cox about this recently and that's just to stand still if we want to remain at the cutting edge of design and technology a million engineers. That's where you should be pointing your children.
Uh, he's launching this weather balloon today into near space. Uh, if you see a balloon shaped something or other in the sky, if you're travelling over towards Cambridge, you know exactly what it is. Good luck to them with that project today. Spend our time as one Life changes. 